What's good pyromaniacs? Today I want to talk a little bit about grafting trees. I want to talk about why you might graft the trees you might want to or the trees that you can graft, a couple of them, uh, the types of grafts that you can do, the rootstock, and uh, finally some of the tools that you'll need if you're interested in grafting. So let's first talk about why you might want to graft. So the first one is you want trees that are similar to a parent tree. Uh, another reason is you might want to choose the rootstock, which gives you a whole bunch of benefits that we'll talk about in a little bit. And then finally, um, it produces fruit quicker than if you were to just grow it by seed. Now, if you were to grow an apple, let's say by seed, let's say you're eating a Granny Smith apple you picked up at the store, you planted the seeds, it's growing. Well, that tree isn't necessarily going to grow into a Granny Smith apple. It could be any type of apple tree, and so you don't really know what you're getting. But by grafting, you essentially have that parent tree. Um, and gra all grafting is, it's essentially, you know, there's several different types we'll talk about later. Uh, we'll talk about that later, but um, it produces quick uh, fruit quicker. So, you know, if you grew an apple tree by seed, it might take 10 years. But by grafting onto established rootstock, it might take far fewer, maybe four years. So, and then finally, you get to choose your rootstock. So, being able to choose your rootstock, you can choose the size that the tree grows. You may have semi dwarf, dwarf, or um, a full size tree. And that also de determines how long the tree might live. So, some of those dwarf trees, they may only live 30 years, maybe less. Whereas a, a standard size tree might live up to 100 years or more. So um, you have that and then there's different levels of hardiness, cold hardiness. So some of them are able to grow north, some of them not. Some of them are good in clay soil. Um, some of them are good with fighting off diseases like fire blight. So, you know, there's any number of reasons why you might want to choose a certain rootstock. Um, you know, some just do better in certain regions, certain areas. So, um, a lot of orchards like to do semi dwarf rootstock because it produces fruit quicker and they're able to pick the fruit. It's a smaller tree. Um, if it's a full size tree, it may not, it may be more difficult to pick. However, having said that, it's not going to live as long and it may not produce the quantity that a full size tree will. So, you know, if you're planting for uh, production or if you're planting for wildlife those two may require you or necessitate different roots so it's something to consider um, so what what might you graft or what might you be interested in grafting uh, I did some pear trees here I got some Kiefer and Blake's, Blake's pride pear trees and they're grafted onto quince roots now quince isn't the best rootstock for this area that I live in in Kentucky but you know, I got them free, so I can't complain with that. But um, so, you know, you could do apples, pears, persimmons, um, a lot of fruit trees. It's common for fruit trees like citrus trees or, or whatever else um, to graft those. Um, so, so finally, what are some tools that you might need if you're interested in grafting? Um, you either need a grafting knife or uh, grafting pruners. I use pruners. And essentially how it works is you've got your rootstock here you prune off you know something here on the rootstock and it kind of notches it in a V shape and then you do the same with your scion and for scions those are basically limbs you're cutting maybe like a foot long in the late winter early spring before it buds out and you can store them in the fridge for you know 30 days or something like that just don't want them to dry out so with the scion, you're cutting it the opposite direction. So, you know, one you have a V and the other one, it's like that where it fits together. And the idea is to line up the Cambrian layers just inside the bark. And um, so the nutrients from the rootstock flow into the scion. And then finally you want to put some grafting wax on top to seal up that hole. And then you want to put some grafting tape around here um, 
and make sure they're tight, but put some grafting tape around here. And that grafting tape will biodegrade once this gets going. So, uh, you know, you don't have to worry about taking it off later, but you just want that, if, if you have, you ideally you want the same size rootstock and scion. So those Cambrian layers uh, around the out, outside, um, they line up, but if you have one, a scion that's smaller, you don't want to go bigger than the rootstock, but if you have one that's smaller, you can just line up one layer of the Cambrian. And, uh, you know, so go off to one side, in other words, and then wrap it up. So you just want that moisture to hold in there. And hopefully in about five or six weeks, these will take. It's not always 100%, but, um, you know, this is my first go round at, at trying this particular way. So uh, we'll see how it does. And um, I mentioned there's several different types of grafting. There's cleft grafting, uh, bark grafting, whip grafting, bud grafting. I feel like um, uh, Forrest Gump or something here, but um, yeah, there's several different types and each one has some, some pros and cons. I won't get into that too much, but anyways, this is what I did here and I've got a couple more. Um, so hopefully these, hopefully these will leaf out here after a little while and we'll have some luck. But if you do do this, just make sure you don't put it in an area where birds are going to land on them or deer are going to eat them. Uh, mice are going to get to them, that sort of thing, girdle them. So, you know, hopefully in a couple weeks I'll give you an update on these. I did order some. This will be for next year planting, but I did order some pears that I plan to plant um, here, I guess, next week. I don't know how, if or whether I'll show that. I planted some in the past and um, hadn't, real, hadn't been real exciting. I don't know how great that footage would be. But anyway, I just thought I'd tell you about grafting and maybe it's something that interests you. I appreciate you watching. If you haven't already subscribed, please do so. Hit that notification button for future video alerts. And thanks again. Appreciate it.